吗？这个外国人不会说中文，一定是来台湾之前没有先看过我的影片。要袋子，袋子吗？对，我要一个袋子。啊，他会讲中文？一个袋子多少钱？一个袋子两块钱。好，可以给我一支，希望吗？可以。你的中文说得非常好。谢谢，因为我在看 Peggy teaches Chinese 的影片。真的吗？你很酷。大家好，我是 Peggy。你们最近好吗 ？I hope you enjoyed the skit. Please do press like for my dearest friends who helped put together this amazing video. Now let's take a look at today's lesson. First of all, let's take a look at the skit one more time. 欢迎光临。Here in Taiwan, when you walk into the store or restaurant, you often hear 欢迎光临。欢迎光临。欢迎 means welcome. 光临 means visit, so welcome visit. English you just say welcome, 欢迎光临 And usually when you leave the store or the restaurant, they will say 谢谢光临谢谢光临谢谢 means thank you, and 光临 again means visit. So thank you visit. In other words, it means thank you for visiting us at our store, or thank you for shopping at our store. 谢谢光临。要袋子吗？对，我要一个袋子。The store clerk will usually ask you whether you would like to buy a bag when you check out. So here goes the question: 要袋子吗？要袋子吗？要 means would like or want is used when you ask or demand for something. 袋子，袋子 means a bag, and 吗 is yes or no question. 要袋子吗 ？In other words, it means would you like a bag? 要袋子吗 ？So the customer here replies, 对，我要一个袋子。我要一个袋子。So 我 is I. 要 would like or want 一个。一个 means one, and then 个 is the classifier for 袋子 right? So 我要一个 and then 袋子 means plastic bag here. 我要一个袋子 I would like a bag. But here goes the sentence pattern you can use in other scenario. It says 我要一个 something. 我要一个 something. Since 个 is the most common classifier for most objects. So for example, when you order for the restaurant, you can actually say 我要一个炒饭我要一个炒饭 ，so I would like one 炒饭 fried rice. 我要一个炒饭。一个袋子多少钱？一个袋子两块钱。Next, the customer goes. 一个袋子多少钱？一个袋子多少钱 ？So E is the amount. 个 classifier. 袋子 the object which is the bag. 一个袋子 ，and then 多少钱？多少钱 ？So one bag, how much money? In other words, you can also ask about price with this sentence pattern. Something, something, 多少钱？一个袋子多少钱 ？And the clerk replies, 一个袋子两块钱。一个袋子两块钱 ，so e again the amount, the classifier, 袋子 the object, the bag, 两块钱，两 here means two, 块钱 is the colloquial unit for money, and the other unit for money is 元，元 ，in other words, 两块钱 can also be said 两元。两元 so you can also say 一个袋子两元
一个袋子两元。However, this two dollars 两元 here is in New Taiwan dollar. 好，可以给我一支希望吗？可以。Finally, the customer asks for a straw for his drink, and he says. 可以给我一支吸管吗？可以给我一支吸管吗 ？So 可以 means can， 给我 means give me 一支吸管。E is the amount is one。G is classifier for straws or pens。吸管 is the straw， so 一支吸管 a straw， and 吗 yes or no question， 可以给我一支吸管吗 ？Can I have a straw？ But the useful sentence pattern is this， 可以给我 blah 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 吗 ？When you ask for can I have something or can you give me something？ So another useful example that you will probably use at a restaurant or coffee shop is this。可以给我一杯水吗？可以给我一杯水吗 ？So can you give me 一杯水 is the amount one. 杯 classifier for cups or glass. 水 water. So 一杯水 a glass of water 吗 ？Can I have a glass of water? 可以给我一杯水吗？ That's it for today. Please share this video and subscribe my channel for more free Chinese lessons. If you like my teaching style, I also provide online tutor sessions. Find out more details at my website at www.peggyteachschinese.com. To support upcoming Chinese video lessons, feel free to make a donation to Peggy Teaches Chinese on my website. 谢谢你们，再见。Trinity, I need the Peggy Teaches Chinese program. Okay, uploading now. Hey, are we doing it? Get that too. Two dollars. These people can learn. One. Two, three, four. Quick <laughs> I'm starting to smile, man. Very good. In which? Because I'm watching Peggy Lee Chinese video. I get it. Let me do it again. Yeah, just keep on going. What? 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 Yeah. Go. We gotta wait for the door, right? Oh yeah.